It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> oh, I look crazy. Whoa. Felicitations. But is it felicitations or felicity? Felicitations. Because I've been saying Feliz Navidad for the last three days. Felicitations and celebrations, everybody. This is Money Flipping Matt Richards, bringing good cheer as we run out the year. I've talked for months about making it to the end of 2020, and finally, the light at the end of the tunnel is a big spotlight. It's so close! So step into that spotlight and take a bow, because it took strength to come this far. Emotional strength, strength of character, and something we're proud to help you with, mental strength. Plain old knowledge. That's right. Knowledge! That's what we're thinking about tonight, as always. 12 nasty knockin' knockers are coming your way with a little cash money for all who reach the finish line. They're cut of the $5,000 prize pot. Away! $5,000, baby! That's some tasty, tasty winnings. For shout. Mmm, delicious. Or if you like your thrills a little bigger, picking up a VIP ticket makes you eligible for the exclusive VIP pot, which tonight is $2,000. If we sell the minimum of 100 tickets, we'll do VIP mode, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta act quick, because once 150 is sold, the door is gonna close. So click it and get your ticket. Yay, uh, yay. Yeah, yeah. And once again, we're shouting out a great charity movement that you HQ community told us about tonight. It's Feed Albany. Closing the hunger gap in New York State Capitol. Feed Albany gives at-risk and in-need individuals in and around Albany access to prepared and packaged meal solutions using commercial kitchens, unemployed restaurant workers, volunteers, and donated vehicles to produce, package, and distribute meals. They work closely with local government, the Regional Food Bank, the United Way, and various other local organizations to identify those at risk and in need and make sure food gets to these individuals and organizations. That's right. So HQ is matching our prize money in a $5,000 donation to Feed Albany. Check them out at feedalbany.com and help them out a little if you can. I know they'd appreciate it. I appreciate all of you. Just a reminder, Anna Roisman will be here tomorrow Testing you on the year 2020 with a special emphasis on the good things that happened. Yes, there were a few. <laughs> Just a couple. Then Thursday is New Year's Eve, baby. And we got a double dose of HQ for you. That's right. First, Jeff Eisenband has Hall of Trivia for all the football and fantasy football nuts. One hour before the main game. Then I'll be back in the driver's seat for a New Year's Eve edition of regular HQ. Two games. Don't miss them. It's going to be very jiggy. Very, a very, a very, very jiggy. So, who's ready to crank this ball up to the roof of one Times Square and wait two days to drop it? Hmm? The usual excitement of a coming HQ quiz is now buffed up with the feeling of our future calling for us. So let's rise to meet it. Hmm, rise up like the bread we all made in quarantine. Except for me, because I couldn't find yeast anywhere. 2020 may be in the closing credits, but don't get too happy. Right now, you've got 12 tough questions to deal with, and trivia does not let up. Now, there's nothing to it but to HQ it with question number one. Which of these nations currently uses a red, white, and blue national flag? France, Germany, or Spain? Who is it going to be? On the dot. We weren't the first, and I bet we're not the last. It's a very popular combination, and it's known as the tricolor over in France. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. Then there's the Netherlands, Russia, Cuba, Liberia, and many others. 47,321 players got that right. Sacre bleu! Ha ha ha. Yeah. That's French. Q2! In your face. Which of these creatures is not a reptile? Crocodile, frog, or python? Colonel herpetologist. 
All right, if it's something like a reptile but isn't, chances are you got yourself an amphibian. A wetter version of a reptile. And those frogs are pretty happy in water or on land. Or hosting the Muppet Show. <laughs> 39,728, you got it right, frog. Ribbit, ribbit. We're going to hop along to question number three. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm a frog. I'm a frog. Ribbit. <laughs> I'm Princess Tiana. That's not how she sounded. But Princess and the Frog was a lovely film. Q3, in the place to be. Which chess piece is limited to half of the board squares for the entire game? Bishop, Rook, or Knight? Would help if you watch the Queen's Gambit. The Rook can zip to any empty square in two moves if no one's in his way. And the Knight can eventually wangle his way there too. But wangle? Uh, <laughs> You put a bishop on a white square, and he can never reach a black one. Sad. Poor bishop. 32,459 players got it right. It's the, uh, the chess version of Counting to Infinity. Wangle, man. It's like a, a weird angle. I just made that up. <laughs> Wangle. All right now, Q4. Knocking on your door. What country would you be in if people were rushing in droves to KFC for Christmas? Australia, Japan, or Poland? I'll tell you what, as soon as this game's over, I'm gonna be in a drove of one heading to KFC because I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna wangle on over there. Culture is a beautiful thing, especially when it gets weird. In America, Chinese restaurants do big business on Christmas, but KFC gets Christmas orders and even table reservations in Japan. Yeah, 32,007 of you got it right. Christmas is just other side of the world day. <laughs> Q5 for the children. Which of these Jay-Z albums does not have a title track? 444, Kingdom Come, or Reasonable Doubt? Yeah, there's a song called 444. And guess how long it is. Likewise, if you listen to Kingdom Come, you'll eventually hear Kingdom Come. But Reasonable Doubt has no title track. That was his debut album. He hadn't figured out title tracks yet. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's a savage jigger question. Savage what? Savage who? Savage what? Savage who? <laughs> Get that savage dirt off your shoulder. Yeah. The, you ready, B? Yep. <laughs> Q6, that was the worst Jay-Z impression ever. Please forget it. It was awful. Get out of here, dog hair. I got dog hair all over me all the time. Yeah. I'll do a money flipper impression after this. Q6, and it goes a little something like this. Which nation has the capital city with the most words? Belize, Benin, or Brunei? <laughs> uh, sillies. Most countries get by with one word capitals. Sometimes you get a flashy two worder like La Paz or Phnom Penh, but tipping the scales with three is Bandar Serai Begawan, Brunei. Not the hardest capital to memorize. Sri Lanka can definitely top it. I know that from personal experience. 14,010 of you got it right at Q6. Halfway to the money! Mm, 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 mm. Gonna get the money! <laughs> Q7, babies! Let's go! Which is a word in the financial acronym NASDAQ? American, dealers, or stock? What's it gonna be? Hmm. Some people live by this index, but few remember what it means. Make a trade, make a trade, make a trade, make a trade, make a trade. Do you guys see Soul yet on Disney Plus? 
So sweet. Okay. Whew. <laughs> the act at the end is automated quotations, but it starts with National Association of Securities. Dealers. Boom. It's better than standard and poor. <laughs> Who puts poor in their finance index? And I also only learned this because I've been doing some trading all quar. Q8. No, you're feeling great. The lightest solid material known to man is made of what? Aluminium, carbon, or lithium? All right, a cubic meter of this stuff weighs under six ounces, but it's an amazing heat insulator. So NASA is nuts about graphene aerogel, made from spread out carbon atoms. Any lighter and it'd go to space by itself. Just be like, woo, where you going? I'm going to space. On my own, go by myself, I'll go to space. 6,437, got it right. Aerogel, oh. Q9, I hope you're feeling fine. What vegetable was not in the first Swanson TV dinner ever sold? Carrots, peas, or sweet potatoes? TV dinners, who's gonna be the winners? Hmm. Good trivia nerds know that Swanson made the very first frozen TV dinners out of surplus turkeys. They were basically Thanksgiving dinners, meaning carrots were optional. Yeah, and they took seven years to add dessert. That's crazy. 4,967 players got it right. Carrots! Carrots. Yeah. Carrots. <laughs> All righty, Q10, my friends, time to get it in. Which of these is commonly written using superscripts? Ordinal indicator, chemical formula, or not variable? Superscripts. What's it gonna be for the superscripts? In a chemical formula like H2O, the two is down by the bottom, a subscript, and that's also the standard presentation for a not variable. But the ST in first is a superscript. The rare hyperscript appears on a different page. Ordinal indicator it is, 3,766 all in the mix. Moving on to the penultimate question of the game, Q11. Bunny one, why don't we call it that? 22, 33, 11 should be 21. 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 21. I vote we change it. Q, 21. The first target of Europe's space garbage truck has a name that sounds like a kind of what? US TV network, planet, or scooter? Hmm. Here we go. Didn't Deep Purple do a song about this? I think they did. Well, Switzerland's Clear Space One satellite will demonstrate how to clean up space junk, starting with a rocket component called a Vespa. Like the scooter. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> 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 ah! 1,020 something and you got it right. We're moving on to the final question of the game, babies. Let's go. Final question of the game, HQDs. Do your duties and get it right. And Asaf just accidentally flung his mouse off the desk. Hilarious. <laughs> For me, it was very funny. I just watched the mouse just fly. Q12. Also, shout out to everybody that wrote me concerned. I got my one wheel back. Shout out to that driver. He was super dope. I gave him a lovely tip. Happy holidays. I, I think he downloaded HQ. So if you're playing, I appreciate you, homie. All right.
Final question of the game. The actress who played Domino in Deadpool 2 is named after a film character from what country? Germany, France, or United States? All right, you might have seen her in Atlanta or her blink and you'll miss it spot in The Joker, but Zazie Beats! Is uh, got her name from a, a French film from France. You wanna scroll? <laughs> 460 players just because the mouse was gone, so it got weird. France, babies! We have 460 winners of HQ Trivia! <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it off memory. We have fun here, okay? It's a it's a it's a heckin' panorama outside. It's a global periscope out there. It's a panda bear. Ten dollars eighty-seven cents going out to Tiggs X3. X-I-M-A-N, Linard, Snowing O, Calaman 007, Romeo 21, K Query 15, Portron, New Edition, Mr. Telephone Man, T.A. Nibbler, <laughs> Lin 30K, Prince of H, and Noorm. Just to name a few, amazing job as usual to all you winners. Everyone copes with quarantine in their own way, and a bunch of you are clearly using it to read and take online classes. Come on back again, we'll see how you do. Anytime, literally anytime, at 9 p.m. Eastern. Oh, yep, one time a day, except on Thursdays when it's two times. Once again, tomorrow night, Anna Roisman's gonna be in the building with some quizzing about the best of 2020 and what it had to offer. And then on New Year's Eve, just Jeff Eisenman's got HQ Hall of Trivia at 8 Eastern Pacific, 5. 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. An hour before the main game. And then your boy is going to be here. I'm going to go pick up some 2021 glasses and some confettis and shoot them into the sky. <sighs> That charity, again, is Feed Albany, getting food to so many who need it in New York's capital. They're at FeedAlbany.com, and every donation will be put to good use. All of them. Seriously, check out the website. There it is. Right there. Until New Year's Eve, this is Matt Richards saying, I tried some of that amazing new plant-based meat, right? It even releases, like, a little pink juice when you cook it. I'm like, just be delicious, okay? You don't have to put on a play. What are you doing, meat?